What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is April 23rd, man. Beautiful Thursday evening, about seven o'clock and uh, about 7 p.m. We're gonna go ahead, Devin and I, and uh, actually meeting Adele, give this thing a full send, a nice evening session, man. We're gonna start with the swim baits. We might just carry those along the bank. You've been seeing we're trying to go for big fish on these things. Uh, who knows what kind of big fish are on these waters right here, but I do know there's a ton of people fishing this place right now. Probably gonna leave the big camera in the car and just try and cover a lot of ground here with the GoPros. Let's see if we can't get a big fish tonight, guys. It could be our evening. First few casts with the Citizen. Just trying to work it real slow tonight. Try something different. Yeah. Oh, no way. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Awesome. You guys catch anything? Yeah. Been catching little ones out of this. Nice, nice, nice. Sounds like a plan. Good luck. All right, we're gonna try some top water. I think sun's getting lower. Cast one little time over here in the shade. Uh, I think I might switch up to the buzz bait. What are you doing out here? Trust me in the water. Bye, little guy. Good little chat. More bites. All right, guys, it's buzz bait and whopper plopper time. We're going with the uh, Hummer in black and then the whopper plopper just in that uh, larger size and white. And uh, this guy right here is the half ounce Hummer. I haven't got any catches on this thing yet. I really have only thrown it one time and I don't have a trailer on it as far as like a plastic, which, you know, some people will add those, some people do not. If you add a plastic trailer, then of course they've got more to bite and you'll get a lot of short strikes. Also, I did not add a trailer hook, which I might show you guys. I don't think I have, I don't know if I have them in a truck, but when I threw buzz baits a ton, first started out this fishing channel I would almost always throw a trailer hook and the trailer hook is usually the one that would get them I'm just gonna see if we get bites first before I go crazy I've missed a lot of fish on buzz baits so let's see what's up first buzz bait fish of the year actually linked up and caught the first fish ever and look it's got a sank on its mouth oh my goodness guy we have got to save you whoa first buzz bait fish of the year and we actually caught the first bite of the year which is tough oh man he's got a hook buried i don't know if i can this is going to be tough i wonder when you caught that dude let's try and get that out of you what are you joking me they just left the sanko in his mouth like at least rip that off Jeez, man as much as it hurts to say it that hook is just absolutely buried. I would end up tearing this bass apart. I mean, I can't even push that through the gills. It's past the point. All right, well, at least I can see you can still eat. And we got that sanko out of your mouth. That's just the best I'm going to be able to do. It would just 100% kill this fish if I decided to try and get that hook out. It's choked. All right, let's get him in the water. There's another one over there. I can almost guarantee it. See you, bud. Thanks for being the first buzzbait bite of the year. First catch on the Hummer. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, one's waking on it. Almost messed that up. I think the top water might be good here in a minute. Oh man, there's a wake right there. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. This is the cast by this drain. Gotta get a blow up. First whopper plopper fish for me. That was cool. It was right where it was getting to that grass and I thought I was gonna have to walk over and pull it up before it. Oh, that was sick. Hey Siri, call hubby on speaker. Calling hubby. Yeah! Woo! Right at the bank, about a three pounder. Devin's calling, probably telling me she got one too. You get one? Yeah, but I need the pliers. Okay, I will right, we'll have to run to the truck. I got one too. I'll be right there. I knew there'd be one by the drain. Yeah, she needs the pliers. 
Time to get more, baby. There we go. Just kidding. Got you free. Awesome. Let me go ahead and dunk you. Get you back in the water, bud. Sweet. Look at that. First whopper plopper fish for me. Cool. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. Get after it. Yeah. Awesome. Let's give this guy a quick dunk, y'all. I just ran over here because I had to get the pliers out for Devin. We had just got our first top water double up of the year. Oh God, get me out of here. <laughs> and uh, so she got it on the whopper plopper. I pulled this guy out on the Hummer. Three bites so far, missed one. Second fish, fat little chunk. Whoo, gonna go ahead and get him back in the water for good. But uh, yeah, nice one on the black Hummer. No trailer hook, no trailer plastic. Look at his spot. Yeah, that thing's pretty sweet. That's crazy. It's like a camouflage spot. Yeah. Not the normal spots. Slight confusion there. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's keep the top water alive. So guys, when I'm fishing this buzz bait, I want to get it as slow as possible without sinking. That is the main objective. That way they've really got time. If you're really like flying by with it, what you can do and you'll catch fish. Uh, you might get more short strikes. You're almost going to pull it away from them. You might uh, breeze by them too quick. You want to give them a little bit more opportunity to hit this thing as it's approaching the bank. So fish it slow, slow as you can without it uh, falling below the surface and stop making its noise. You want to be reeling like as soon as it hits the water. So what I like to do, because otherwise it will just sink and I'll, and I'll show you that right here on this next cast. So if you don't reel right when it lands, it sinks and you don't get the action out of it that you want right away. So make sure you, uh, what I like to do is I cast it and as soon as it hits the water, I thumb the spool and lift the rod tip and start reeling all at the same time. And if you're fishing like a right-handed reel and you need to make that switch, you need to cast and you almost need to like switch in the air to stop it, raise the rod tip and start cranking because this thing sinks and you're not gonna get that same effect right when it hits the waters when you'll get a lot of hits you wanna already be cranking. Another reason why I like left-handed reels when I throw these because I cast with my right hand and then I can immediately lift the rod tip and reel and so it never sinks. We're going, uh, this is like 30 pound braid I think. We're just fishing open water. You could throw heavier, but I mean, I don't think there's much reason for it. You're not going to fish the thick stuff with the buzz bait necessarily because you'd rather throw a frog in those areas. When it's an uh, open bank line like this, though, buzz bait slays. Braid is good, though. That way it doesn't sink. You know, if you're fishing this with fluorocarbon, the density of that line, it'll sink and it'll drag your buzz bait down with it. So fish these things on braid. 30 pound, I believe, is good for buzz baits because with something really heavy like people might use for frogs, let's say 50, 65, whatever. Uh, you're not going to get the same casting distance. This 30 pound really gets good casting distance. It's good all around braid. So Palomar knot is what we got tied. Half ounce. Made a move. Going to try one more spot before the sun sets, you guys. I'm going to walk over to this pond and see what it looks like. Looks good. Oh my gosh. They are right on the bank. There's a bass right below me. He's guarding a bed. Here we go. Let's get this guy. Hey, swim jig right here. He's on the bed, not, not coming off of it. Got a bed fish that's pretty locked on. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> like second cast it. <laughs> Quick little bed fish right there. There we go. Good deal. Whoa, come back now, 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 now. You've been caught before, huh? I was on that grass hero. And then we have that whitish color saucy swimmer. Uh, I think this is the rotten pumping color, but uh, this little guy was on that bed right there and uh, wasn't coming off of it. So quick little bed fish for y'all on this episode. Right back on his bed. <laughs> He's not gonna go far. He's gonna come right back. Let's hit this grass line and we're about out of light. All right guys, back at the house. Saturday the 25th, this is actually being filmed today when I upload the video. Talk a little bit more about these buzz baits, man. The light had faded, uh, we weren't catching much more, and you can stay and fish these until after dark with all the noise they make and you'd catch fish, but for us, we want to, of course, get that great footage, capture it for you guys to see. And so now, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the buzz baits. And let me tell you what, dudes. When I first saw a buzz bait, 
I had zero confidence in it. <laughs> so one of the ways you can gain confidence in a bait like this is by simply watching other videos like this. I remember I watched a one rod one reel fishing video where he like slayed in the morning hours. Best times to use these during spring and summertime is the sunrise and the sunset when bass are up shallow feeding. Otherwise, like, you know, if it's maybe thunderstorms are coming or it's very overcast, you can get away with throwing the midday and getting some bites. But otherwise, usually that top water bite just really picks up spring, morning, and evening right before sunsets. But I was watching that one rod, one reel video, and that's where I got a lot of confidence and ended up buying my first buzz bait because I saw him absolutely crushing a golf course pond, catching like threes, fours, fives, left and right. And so here's what you wanna do. You wanna constantly be walking the bank. You don't wanna fish the same areas. If you get bit, then go ahead and stick over there, maybe cast a couple more times, walk around and hit them from a different angle. But the thing with the buzz bait is you'll also spook some fish, and you, once you've ran through an area with this and agitated the potential fish that might bite, your best bet is just to keep on moving. So you want to walk the entire bank line with these things. And that is going to be the best way to catch fish, casting parallel to the bank. So for me, I was using a 7.2 medium heavy rod, which is something that you can get away with. I would even recommend a 7.6 just for casting distance. You don't really need that extra beefiness and strength for the hook sets necessarily, because you're using braid, which has no stretch. And I've even heard some people like using monofilament with uh, the buzz bait, because what happens is a lot of times you'll see that bass blow up and you're quick to set the hook and you might take it right out of its mouth. It's happened to me before uh, plenty of times and so they're just they're right at your feet sometimes they bite. Anyways, monofilament has a little bit more stretch so if you choose to use monofilament it's just a little tip I've heard in the past. I fish them on braid and that is as far as the line goes what I do. Now when it comes to color I've almost always fished white buzz baits like shad pattern but I don't have one of those on me. Uh, so what we have is a recent one we picked up in Mystery Tackle Box with a chartreuse skirt, and we've got just a fluke. This is an example of a trailer you could put on these. Now also, we don't have a trailer hook, but you could add a trailer hook to these buzz baits, uh, even just if it's plain. So for me, like on this guy right here that I can't pick up at this moment because I'm tripping, um, you could add a trailer hook, which is simply a hook that has an eyelet that would go onto this hook here, so you have two hooks. So the idea is that this is buzzing along in the water, those fish go up to strike it, and a lot of times they miss that hook, but they'll get that trailer hook. Uh, I, don't, I just don't know where mine are at, otherwise I would just rig one up and show you right now. But a trailer hook is something you can get at most of these local fishing and sporting stores, and so you can just add those to the main hook, and um, they are fantastic when it comes to buzz bait bites. Now. Watching those videos is gonna gain you some confidence. I got very fortunate that as soon as I started throwing a buzz bait, one of the first times I ever tied it on, I got bit and that was just all I needed, okay? <laughs> Cause I know you look at these or maybe you've used them and you haven't had a lot of confidence. I'm telling you, summertime, get up early, right as the sun's coming up. Throw it, you'll have good luck. You don't see many people casting these out deep. You don't see many people casting them straight out, okay? really focus on the bank casting parallel as I said and uh, I mean don't just like burn it you want to be going as slow as possible again that's really going to give them time to eat it now when it comes to color as far as which one I prefer best I always use the white this one's chartreuse though and I just had confidence because the thing is that squeak ooh, that unique sound buzzing through the water man I really doubt that the fish is like that's yellow I'm not going to eat it. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're agitating them and it's out of aggression. Uh, sometimes it's out of, right now it's like spawn season around where we're at, whether they're pre-spawn, post-spawn, they're agitated and up shallow. And this just, mm, it pisses them off. When you cover this thing over their head, they're going to eat it. Um, at night, I do hear that uh, the black color is really good. And I hear that because basically the fish are in those ponds. Maybe there's some light, you know, some of that moonlight that's still, or maybe you've got like lights around the pond. You're fishing somewhere in a park and all they can really see is that silhouette and it tends to stand out really well with that darker color. So I hear that black buzz baits are really good if you're out night fishing. Whether there's truth to that, you guys go ahead and let me know. But, uh, you know, these are from guys that are fishing these things left and right. So there's just a few key buzz bait tips that you probably don't hear, secrets that I've just learned over time fishing them. I remember they were one of my first confidence baits after I started using them and caught a couple fish. I had one rigged up all day, every day, and literally just fished them all day. I, I didn't know any better, and that was my tactic, and I caught a bunch of fish on them, man. So it's a ton of fun. You'll get some huge bass blow up on these things. I hope you guys pick up a buzz bait after seeing this video and get to chunking them now that the weather is getting right. Now in some areas, I know it's not even time to think about top water yet. So for a lot of my viewers here in my area, uh, Texas, North Texas, you guys start slaying them on the buzz baits, the whopper ploppers, the frogs, etc. But this buzz bait bite 
It was too much fun, guys. So we hope to throw them a lot more. We'll catch you on those future episodes. Peace out. Hey.